everyone it's beautifully autumnal in Suffolk UK today and I have the perfect autumn project for you today we are going to be needle felting perfect pumpkins happy felting everyone hello everyone so we are going to be making our perfect pumpkins today um, the tools you will need you will need your felting service I've got my lovely 100% um, wool mat from Feltabulous underneath. That's my absolute favourite. And I've just lined it with um, a piece of felt to keep all the wool clean. I've also got my multi-needle tool from Clover. It's my favourite, but only two needles in this one. You can put three in there. These ones have got 38 gauge triangles in at the moment. I've got a single 38 gauge triangle needle, just in case I need it, and a pair of scissors. I've also got my fibres. So I've got this beautiful core wool um, from Simply Felting. It's, uh, if you're looking for it, it's um, under slithers and it's absolutely fabulous. I love it. Um, I've got a green. This one um, is from The Makers. It's a variegated green, but obviously you can pick any colour you like. That's for the stalk. And then I've got the colour of my pumpkin. So I've gone with a lovely orange tangerine colour. This one is a New Zealand carded from um, the felt box. I've also got some curly whirlies. You know they are my favourite. These ones are Blue Face Lester and beautifully hand dyed by Claire over at Hope to Car Designs. Um, absolutely love these, absolutely beautiful. Okay, so super easy beginner's project. Not much involved because it is literally one core, a stalk added, and the curls added on top. So I promise you this is going to be super simple project for you. So I'm going to start with my core wool slither. Just move some things out of the way. And all I'm going to do, I'm going to take an amount that is roughly mm, a little bit bigger than my mat, I think. I think we've got about maybe 10 inches there. Remember, I can always add to it. Super easy to add. A little bit harder to take away. I'm only going for a mini pumpkin today. Obviously, if you're going bigger or smaller, you can do that. Just pop that over there. Easy peasy. I'm just going to knot the middle. Knot it again. That gives me a nice firm core in the middle. And I'm just going to wrap the tails around what I've got in the middle. Okay. I'm taking my multi-needle tool. And I'm just going to start to stab into this shape. Now, what is absolutely fabulous about pumpkins is um, that they can be any shape, any size, lots of different colours. They don't have to be perfectly symmetrical. They are just the best project to do because if they're a little bit on the square for a little bit quirky, do you know what? That's absolutely perfect because that's the way pumpkins are. I love this project. Now you won't have to do much stabbing to be able to feel that this is all coming together already. I'm turning as I go because I don't want my fibres to get stuck to my mat. I've got a nice firm core in there. So to be honest, I can't stab all the way through at the moment. I'm just stabbing into the middle where that nice firm knot is in the middle. So that's quite handy for me. This is a great method, super fast and super quick. Now, I quite like the shape that it's going into already. If you don't like your shape, keep turning, keep stabbing. And if you want to get more of a rounded shape, you can actually roll it in your hands as if you've got clay, you're shaping a ball. You can do that and then hold it all together by needle felting in. Now I'm gonna make mine a little bit larger because I want mine to be a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna come back with my core wool. See, easy peasy to add. I'm just gonna take a little bit off. And then I'm just gonna wrap this core wool around the ball that I've already got. So I'm just turning as I go and I'm back roughly to the ball shape I was. But now all I'm gonna do is stab in all of this core wool like I said this is my favorite core wool this is the core wool I use on most of my 
needle felting workshops. It is a beautiful British Breeds blend from Simply Felting. And you'll find it under Core Slithers. Okay, so it's all coming back together again, which is really nice. Really quick again. Hasn't taken very long at all. Because of the knot in the middle, like I said, it really doesn't take very long for this to all start to come together. So I'm just going to take a few more minutes, bring this all together, and then I'm going to decide if it's the size I want it to be. If it's not quite the size I want it to be, I'll add a little bit more cool wool. So I'm going to speed this bit up for you. And I'm going to pop back when it's time to do the top coat. So I added another layer of the cool wool because I wanted mine to be a little bit larger so you guys can see um, and I've stabbed it all in. If you want to get your pumpkin more of this sort of squish shape rather than round, then you can literally just squish the top and the bottom uh, with your finger and you're just stabbing in with your needle. Obviously be super careful you don't hit your fingers but the fibres will connect and everything will squish down like one of those squished pumpkins okay nice and easy right i'm ready to put my top coat on now if you find that you've got a few um divots um in your pumpkin don't worry too much you can always uh, make it nice and smooth by adding a little bit more core and um, that's absolutely fine i'm not going to worry too much about mine i'm going to just use the top coat uh, to make sure everything's smoothed off okay so like i said i've got this lovely new zealand um, carded wool from the felt box one of my favorite wools to use um, is the new zealand carded um, i'm just going to literally pop it on top of my pumpkin and stab it in it's as easy as that personally i don't like to use too much of the top coat um, at one time I don't like to wrap it all over and stab it all in. I find I get a lot more seams, a lot more holes. Um, it takes up a lot more wool um, and it takes a lot longer to get rid of all the air from the middle and felt everything down. So I just like to do it in small little bits. OK, so take your time. Pick the colour that you want for your pumpkin. Take small little bits at a time. Place them onto your core and stab them in. You don't need to push all the way through. You only need to use the end of your needle because that's where your barbs are to help everything connect together. Okay, so I'm gonna speed this bit up for you and I'm gonna come back when all my top coat is on my pumpkin. I have now fully covered my pumpkin with my top coat. Just go round and double check that there is no core coming through. Because once we start to do the segments on the pumpkins, if it's not completely covered, then the core will be more exposed. So just take your time. If you want to smooth things out a bit, then you could use um, a smaller needle a smaller size needle maybe a 40 or a 42 and just go in very shallow at an angle and that should smooth everything out a little bit i'm not going to worry about mine i like the way it looks okay so now i've done my top coat i'm then going to be doing the segments that go down the side of my pumpkin now you can do as many segments as you like completely up to you depends whether you like big chunky pumpkins with big segments or really thin segments it's completely your choice okay so i'm going to use a little bit of green in the middle of my segments but again you can do whatever you like a little bit of brown would look nice on the orange or you could just leave them with no other color in them completely your choice what i like to do is just do a little indent in the top of my pumpkin 
and the bottom of my pumpkin and I do that in the center and the reason I do that is so that I've got somewhere for my segments to join up to otherwise they do tend to go a little bit wonky okay so I'm then just going to start stabbing easy peasy I'm just stabbing into the pumpkin okay um, I've got two needles in my multi-tool and that's making it a lot easier for me to do these segments they're a lot quicker to do these lines if I've got two needles there's no reason you can't just use one needle it will just take you a little bit longer so I'm just pushing in to create my first segment okay and then I'm just going to continue all the way around like I said your choice what size segment she want completely your choice so I'm just going to keep going with these segments until I get all the way around remember I'm joining from the top dent to the bottom dent so I'm going to speed this bit up for you and I'm going to come back when I get to the next part So hopefully you can see my segments are completely random. Some are big, some are small. All pumpkins are different and I love it. Okay, so next I'm going to add some green fibre to the middle of my segments. Now you don't need to do this bit. I just like the way it looks. So I've taken off a little bit of my green. I'm just bringing it together slightly in my fingertips and I'm just going to start stabbing it in. Doesn't matter if you stab from the bottom or the top, just start stabbing it into those segments. Now I'm gonna do all of these segments in this lovely variegated green. And then I'm gonna come back and show you what I'm gonna do next. I've now covered all the indents in my nice green very happy with that and then I need to decide what is the top and what is the bottom of my pumpkin now usually it's better to put it on a flat surface just because if it's nice and flat down here you'll be able to work it out better if you've got a little dip in your mat it might be a bit tricky so I'm gonna have that's the bottom and that's the top so this is my top this is my bottom on my bottom I'm just going to fill in this little bit here to give it a little bit of a base so I'm using my green wool again and I'm going to grab my single needle because I'm working on such a small bit now I'm just going to use my single needle it's a 38 gauge triangle they are my favorite ones to use and my favourite needles are from the lovely Heidi Feathers. Okay, so I'm just stabbing this all in. I want to make it nice and flat so it sits nice and flat when I go to display it. Okay, so it's covered up any of the bits where it was joining in the middle, which is good. And it's given my pumpkin a nice little base. Okay, so once that's all filled in and all flattened down, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. I'm then going to think about the curls on the top. OK, so I'm bringing my scissors back. And the reason I'm bringing my scissors back is when you're pulling curls um, off a bit like this, unfortunately, when you pull, it does uh, tend to make the curls at the end go all fluffy if you're trying to pull them all, all apart. So unfortunately, you might need to use your scissors. I never usually use my scissors for anything else. Let's see if I can get a few off without ruining the beautiful curl. So I'm just picking my favourite bits from this little bit here. Beautiful colours. Can you see this bit's going all fluffy? I'm managing to keep the curls at the end though, which is quite good. So I haven't had to use my scissors. Quite pleased. 
I'm going to stab these fluffy bits into the middle so you won't be able to see them. Some people like to keep the fluffy bits on so that you can see them. That's absolutely your choice. So I think I've got enough there. I'm going to go with those. There's quite a few there, a little bit of a mixture of colours. I think I'm going to go with those. OK, so didn't have to use my scissors. I will leave them there just in case I need to snip anything off. I'm just going to stab these into the middle. Now, if you've got a nice long piece um, of curl, you could stab into the middle part of the curl and have a bit either side. Or you can stab one end in so you've got just the curly bit coming out. Or if it's really long, you could fold it in half and do this and stab this bit and you'd have two bits here if you've got two really nice bits. I want to get rid of the fluffy bits on these ones. So the fluffy bits are going in the middle. Now I'm going to use my multi-needle tool just to stab that fluffy bit in. There you go. I'm going to move this one out of the way. Okay, so next one. It doesn't really matter. Arrange them however you like. If you just want them coming down one side, pop them down one side, it's completely your choice. Of course, if you wanted a plain pumpkin, you don't have to put the curls on. I just absolutely love curls and use them for as many projects as I possibly can because they are my favourite. OK, so what's going to happen is we're going to make a stalk in a minute and the stalk is going to go on top of these curls, which is why we're adding the curls first. If I added the stalk first, I'd have nowhere to hide all these fluffy bits. So I'm adding those first. OK, I'm quite happy with that. I'm going to leave those two to the side to use on another project. OK, so easy peasy way to make a stalk is take the colour of your choice. I'm going again for my lovely variegated green from the makers. And it's really easy. You're just going to take some off. I've just got maybe a two inch piece here. OK, and I'm literally going to roll. I'm going to roll a sausage. It's as easy as that. OK, so I tend to just fold up one of the sides first and that will be the top. Basically, uh, that will end up being the top The bit down the bottom here. I'm not going to felt at all. And that's the bit that I'm going to use like glue and I'm going to stab into my pumpkin. So I've just folded over this side here and I'm literally going to roll it's as easy as that and I'm going to take my single needle because it's only a small piece that I'm working on and I don't want to stab my fingers and I'm stabbing all the way up and down and turning stabbing all the way up and down and turning I'm going to do this a few times until my stalk starts to firm up a little bit now, it's quite fluffy, this piece. So as I'm needle felting, it's pushing all the way through and it's hitting the mat underneath. So I need to make sure I'm constantly turning it. So A, I want it to go round, so I constantly turn. But B, I don't want it to get stuck to the mat. So I'm turning, 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 turning. Now, to firm this up a little bit, a super fast time, you could actually, my top tip, roll it in your palms of your hands. Nice and gently and everything just rounds out. Then I'm going to stab slightly into the top and that's going to start to flatten that top down of my stalk. But remember, I'm leaving the bottom nice and fluffy so that I can needle felt it onto the top of my pumpkin. I'm going to give it one more round of stabbing. Now you can make your stalk as long or short as you like. It's completely up to you how you want your pumpkin to look. OK, I'm quite happy with that. It's got quite a lot of fluff down the bottom here. So what I might do, I'm just going to keep my single needle because that's the easiest way to stab it in. What I might do is just take a tiny bit off, a little tiny bit off. I'm holding on to the bit that I've done so I don't ruin it. And I'm just taking a little bit off at a time. Now, I'm going to fluff out what I've got at the bottom. Like I said, it's going to act like our glue and it's going to stick to the pumpkin. Pumpkin comes back on the top and then I'm stabbing right at the base of the stalk into the pumpkin. Please watch your fingers. they have gone quite small here. So I'm always going from the base of the stalk into the pumpkin. 
and like I said I'm using my single needle because double needle ooh, double the stab power and I don't want to stab my fingers in such a small piece so just stabbing that all in super easy now you can decide if you want these fluffy bits left nice and fluffy completely your choice or if you want to stab those down a little bit your choice however you want your pumpkin to look i'm going to just stab mine down a little bit so that they go into the pumpkin a little bit and there you go one super simple beginner's pumpkin look how easy that was you can do any shape any color any size look at that absolutely perfect beginner's project great seasonal project for autumn happy felting everyone <laughs>